Hello, you guys, welcome to my channel. If you are seeing this, that means I successfully um, was able to get a stretch the sketch done. <laughs> you know what, even if you are seeing this, I might be posting it later than everyone else. I don't even care. I decided, so what I decided is I have been trying to kind of go through some of my things and clean my craft room a little bit and better organize. I've got some organization things ordered. Um, that I'm excited about. I'm gonna kind of rearrange all my cubes and see if I can better utilize the things I have that I, I don't use. Um, but I came across, I forgot I got this. Um, I think it was, was this in like a blind bag or something? I don't remember. But it's a vintage card kit. It might have been from a friend. I think it might have been from a friend. And so I got the stamps and this paper pad and everything. But the fact that these are the smaller eight and a half by 11 sheets of cardstock and we have stretched the sketch every month, I thought, you know what? I want to have more cards on hand to give to people. Why not make some cards with stretch the sketch? And I have some base cardstock basically to go. Um, I can get two card bases out of each of these and that's at least one card a month. That's more cards than I have now. Even if it's only 12 cards that I make all year, it's more cards than I have now. So I think we're going to do that. So I'm going to take today's sketch, which is amazing, and we're going to make a card. So I've got a base. <laughs> that's all I've got so far. I, um, like I said, I'm slowly kind of cleaning out my um, supplies. I have this airplane though that's been sitting here forever that we should use. So I feel like, um, I should f come up with a fun card, like I'm just a friendship card with an airplane, like fly away with me. Let's go have a date together or something, you know, something along those effects. Um, so let me see if I can find some other goodies amongst, and I've got these sequins out. This might be my lucky day. I'm just kidding. Let's go see what else I can find in my stash um, to then create this card with that sketch in my. I found this scrap of uh, wood grain paper. And then I found, this is a sticker and these are two ephemera pieces from, I can't remember the collection at the moment. This one says Forever Brave. I'm not so keen on that, but I like that there's a stripe across the sketch. And so I thought we could washi tape that down with another like pink washi. And then since this is a card, I wanna make sure it gets glued down. So we'll glue all that. And then I liked the idea of using this sticker, which I've had this sticker forever. Um, but we're going to trim it down just a little. More of a rectangle. So it matches the sketch. If that's straight, you can probably bet it's not. We're gonna wonkify everything a little. I'm not sure what kind of card this would be. Take a leap of faith. And then we're gonna do sequins in half circle around. So we're gonna glue this down to the card base. This would be a cute like invitation. Take a leap of faith, come hang out with me and we'll do something fun. I'm all about simple cards, nothing crazy, but like I said, this sentiment's kind of weird. So if I decide to change my mind, I could always do that. All right, let's get out the sequins. and decide on a sequin mix. Ooh, actually these ro the golden gates would work really well. Yeah. And now I need something to be like a good um, 
template for the circle. It's slightly bigger than that. This is too big. Actually, this might be a good template. That's not too bad. Move that one over a little. There. There is my take on the sketch. It's a card. I stretched it, I shrunk it, down to a card. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was <laughs> But this is my plan. I didn't realize how many things I have that could be possibly used as a card. So it's almost like I, I need to narrow down and be like, okay, I would like to make a card about this. Here are my thing. Because I have so I have so many things. Um, but this is what I plan on doing. So yeah, t I don't know where I would put this on a scrapbook page, but I could always put a white square and cover that up and change the sentiment, which is awesome. So at least the card is started. So if I ever decide I want to change the sentiment, I can easily do that. But there you go. There's my card based on the sketch today. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you check out everybody else who is down below and we'll see you next time. Bye.